things that are going on in your business. It's wonderful. It's awesome. We're streaming over right now into the 90 day group. So thank you uh, for waiting for us. Uh, yeah, Josetta. Hello. Um, I did the homework yesterday. Um, just didn't think about it. Just went out there and did it. Um, I was looking a mess, but I was exercising while I was doing it. So that was a good excuse. Um, <laughs> um, got some reviews. People just popped on, um, kind of went from the hip, remembering what you said. And it just kind of all flowed when I watched it back. They responded and everything. Then I went, did a live later on, my regular live was looking much better and <laughs> i had 13 people on my live and i sold like 32 pe pieces and oh, i was on there an hour so good. awesome good. that was good excellent big win big win good job josetta kimmy hey y'all i've got two wins i've got somebody that's uh rejoining but they can't do it till february the first because they had canceled their sale so they're coming back and um i did a reel while i was on the plane of a plane hack and it's had over two thousand views no way <laughs> oh, super awesome <laughs> so anyway i'm excited <laughs> that's excellent good job good job was it on instagram or what was it on uh facebook and then it should have went to instagram i think it shared it automatically so and you said you did a plane a uh, hack what did you okay if you're on the aisle you know that that armrest does not come up you know well it will there's a button way <laughs> up in the back and um so we figured that out i said wait a minute i gotta do a real real quick i gotta do a video <laughs> <laughs> and i just put you know, flight hack, and it's had like 2.7 thousand views. And uh, anyway, you never know. You never know. And I think that's the, I think that's the point of where we want to get to that, like mentally, this doesn't have to be a big deal. We can yeah. be on a plane and we can create a reel yeah. about I some mean, cool little hacks that we created. And sometimes I we think see. we have to be like expert level, like have to know everything about anything when really like we don't. We don't. <laughs> I fly, you know, a good bit, and it's always hard to get out of your row because that will not come up like the other ones do. And we figured it out. <laughs> right. Good for you. Now, now, let me tell you what is really cool about that. Do you have an, uh, Kim, do you have a YouTube channel? No, but I need to get one, don't I? You get one and you put that in as YouTube shorts. I mean, how cool is that? You'll get so many people watching that, but but the title has to be a really good hook. Yeah. Are you stuck in the seat of the? <laughs> oh yeah. So I, awesome. It was funny. I said I'm this many years old before I figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lot. I'm sure most of us didn't figure that know that either. So that's okay. I'll do oh, that awesome. YouTube short. Awesome. Well, good job. Um, uh, just a quick little uh, a summary real quick. If you have any questions or want the Zoom link or want to know where the replays are, it's always a, a, a post that's pinned at the top of this group. Uh, it, it talks about everything and anything. So just click into that post and it has everything in the description there. Okay. So um, we, go. yeah, I, I just have a clarification that I want to tell you really quickly. Yesterday, May, it's EME, had said that she's doing cooking and she has 9,000 followers in her cooking on her page and she's selling jewelry on that page. And I said, oh no, be careful, be careful. I want you to know if she's selling a cookbook, if she's selling a recipe, if she's selling her whatever, you got to be careful. So I just want to clarify that. Mm -hmm. If you're not selling anything, if it's a lifestyle post yep. that you're posting and saying, hey, I love to cook and look at this and I'll show you how. And here's some jewelry, the how cute I look when I'm sitting here, you know, set, cooking. That's okay. And so I could have led you astray yesterday. I just want to clarify that. So, so simply put, you can't sell two different things on your page. Right. If you're selling cooking and paparazzi, that's when you get in trouble. Right. But if you're doing other things like beauty stuff or cooking, 
you can also sell paparazzi. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, today is day 17. We had an interview of Mark Morgan Zambrono. <laughs> so we Morgan. Have, we have this guest speaker, and we uh, and basically what we talked about today was engagement posts. Yeah. So this this week is all about engage is about creating content. So Monday we talked about reels. Yesterday we talked about lives. Now we're talking about engagement posts. And there's two types of engagement posts. One is lifestyle. Well, she suggested two. So two types of posts, not just engagement posts, but posts. Lifestyle, what you're doing. You know, Kim talked about flying. That, that's kind of an engagement. And another one is, um, Amelia, what was the second one that she said? I just listened to the engagement part. Um, I, I only heard the engagement lifestyle yeah. post. So there's a couple different kinds, but one is the lifestyle. So we're going to talk today about lifestyle, what you're doing, how to make people want to watch you because you're interesting. And she said, a lot of people think they're boring. And she says, but really sit down here. Now, now you can sit and look at, um, okay, Christine, I could say, Christine, here's a couple things you can talk about. Um, do you wear glasses or not? What kind of frames do you like? What do you like the ones that tint or not? You could put out a whole post about glasses, or you could say, Christine, you have a filing cabinet. So you could say, do you use a filing cabinet or do you file everything online? You can look just in one picture. If I could stand, you know, sit with everybody else where they're at, you could take whatever they're, they're having their background or next to them. Do you eat can What do you eat? Do you eat candy? What kind of candy do you like? There's all these questions that people are normal like you. I mean, we don't have to say I'm perfect and I always have my hair done and I'm always wonderful and I always eat healthy and I exercise and I'm so wonderful. Heck no, I like to eat fast food. I never cook and microwave is my favorite cooking <laughs> utensil. <laughs> and so there's so many people out there like that. Make it interesting. What, what's your favorite? And if you like to cook, what's your favorite utensil that you have? Do you like this? Do you like that? You know, whatever. Let them come up with ideas. Yeah. And, and the point of a, an engagement post is to create conversation. Correct. Okay. And so that's why you can ask a question like a this or that question. We learn about this or that question. It's like, hey, are you a person that wears glasses? Do you prefer glasses or contacts? Yeah. You know, do you prefer the aisle row? Aisle row? Well, aisle row. The aisle seat or the, the window seat, you know, and then you can, what you're trying to do is create a post to create conversation and get people to comment and engage with you. Okay. So there can be different ones we've heard of. Do you want just, do you only do pictures or do you just do, do you do text as well? And he said, they can be both. Okay. So that's where like a lifestyle post can be like a picture of what you're doing of like, like Kim on the aisle, I mean, we were using Kim, Kim's in the aisle, like, hey, do you guys like the aisle seat or the the the, window seat. the window seat? I like the aisle seat because I just figured out how to get the, 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 arm, rest the arm rest to work now, right? So you're trying to find things to like create conversation, okay? And there's, and a lot of times, like my mom was saying, a lot of times we think our life is boring and we don't really have things that like could be like conversational, but that's what is attractive to you, to other people that you are normal right? You don't have to be the super healthy person to be like, hey, guess what? I like fast food. So do you like McDonald's? Or do you like Wendy's better, right? And you can just figure out what your interests are. He said, make a list. If you don't know what types of posts to make with these engagement questions, make a post, just take it, well, take a second and write an exercise. It's just like a list exercise of write everything and anything about you and interests and things about you, okay? And then you can start writing posts. Are you more of a rom-com person or a you know, a thriller person or a horror person, you know, for videos, right? What type of content? And then you can also see what type of content you consume. What are you consuming content around funny videos or a, a certain personal development guy that you're watching or a girl like Oprah or Tony Robbins or what? Okay. I mean, he hey, said Robbie. people like people, excuse me, people like people that are like them. So if you are not or if you are not um, likable, what is it? If you are not where they cannot feel like they are equal to you or similar to you, they don't want you. Yeah, you want to be relatable. Relatable. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the goal. Word. The goal is to be relatable. So the, yeah, and so the goal for these posts is to be relatable 
and something that's easy. And that's why to me, I think comedians are so like interesting is because they they're funny, but it's things that like, oh yeah, I totally get that. Normal. normal totally get stuff. that. You laugh about things that they are like, like they're talking about normal day stuff, but if they make it funny that like, oh, why do we do that? You know, she said that one of her best posts was she talked to a, a team member and she was just on the phone talking to the team member saying, and the team member said she doesn't like guacamole. And she's like, what? <laughs> like guacamole. Everybody likes guacamole. It's the best. So she just typed out. She didn't put a picture. She didn't do anything. She just said guacamole or not. And she got 2,000 well, she, people. She added to that. She actually oh. said she was trying to make it a little bit, because something she said is trying to make it a little funny type controversial, slightly controversial. You don't want big yeah. controversial. It's like talking about politics stuff because that's kind of, that no can be a little, politics. that can be a little no like. Politics. <laughs> politics, please, please, please. So, because you will take people away from you. Sorry. Right, but that could be, if that's your brand, some people, that's their brand, right? But if your brand is to be like a little funny, so what she said with the guacamole is, hey, who, I, I love guacamole. Who's a guacamole person and who's not? Because I want to see who my people are. Yeah. So she created a slight, uh, a slight controversy there, but it's fun. I mean, you can have fun with like laughing about guacamole to see if people are really passionate about guacamole or not. Okay. So the key is relatable and making conversation and trying to create conversation in your post. Okay. You know, another thing is iPhone case, iPhone or Android. I mean, there's so many things. Just think about all the things. What do you do in a day? What do you consume? What do you watch? what what attracts you when you're scrolling through social media what do you stop and look at what is it that catches you yep um and then the next level so the dare for today is to make go and make an engaging lifestyle post on your personal facebook page on your personal uh, uh profile on facebook okay facebook. and you want it to be engaging and ask a question so you can be able to get comments and then something that she says that that she adds to part of her dmo and you can kind of see this with your with ours as well. But the next day after you post an engaging post, you go back to all the people that commented and go into their profiles and you give love and you comment and love on their stuff. Okay. Your algorithms will blow up. So when you do that, it allows those people to see more of your things. And then when you're when people come and comment on your stuff, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, well, oh, that's super awesome. I'm gonna go, I'm I know I commented on their stuff, but I'm gonna go check out the profile. Right. Okay. And so if you take the time, if you, so if, if someone comments, if Susie Q comments and says guacamole and guacamole and guacamole and guacamole, you go back to those four people and you say, good job. Good job. I love it too. I love it too. But then you go to Susie Q's profile and you find a post that she's had and love on it and, and make a comment. And even if you only have one viewer, if you do that, you're going to have 10 the next time. It's really going to boost your algorithm. It will, it will help. It will help for yeah. sure. So um, that's, that's the level of the, the dare. And well, that's the, the homework and the dare today is to, to make an engagement post and then go back tomorrow and comment on those people that have commented. And he said something that he said is until you're getting a lot of comments, go give comments. Yes. Right. Excellent. So be sure to go give love. And the more that you're actually giving comments to those people that are your customers, they're going to show your, your feed and your timeline or your posts and, and content is going to show up more on their, in their timeline because you're interacting, you're, con you're connecting more with each other. One thing that I remember from another training that we had, because I'm seeing somebody's giving us lots of hearts and, and thumbs up and squishy faces. He said, when you go on a post, give a heart, a squishy face or something else. Don't just do a thumbs up. Because algorithms, for some reason, know that if you go click, thumbs up, click, 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 that's easy. But if you go click and you hold it down to get the heart, that makes just a titch more effort. And that will boost your algorithms. Just an FYI, I just saw that. Um, how, how frequent should they do lifestyle posts? Um, they said, that at least this girl that she was talking about, is it depends on how much you're creating content. So she said, oh, I post three times a day on my, on my, on my feed. And so if you're posting every single day with a, an engagement post like that, that's like not that unheard of. And a lot of the content she creates has questions and has engagement within it. So try and she said, try and figure out something that's able to like work with your business. And even something I've even heard is if you're doing a live, let's say you're going live two or three times a week, do an engagement post earlier that morning and get some fall mm -hmm. and, and get some engagement there. And then go into those people and comment. That way your algorithm's working a little bit better in your favor. So when you go live, 
Facebook's going to notify more people to come to your Yeah, live. if you want more viewers on your live, that's what you do. You do an engagement post where they have to answer a question. Then you go in and message them. Then more people will see your live. That's for sure. Um, let's see. And we're just talking about lifestyle today. We're not talking about promoting business or, yeah. or what your brand is or any of that. This is just lifestyle. Things that you do, things that surround you. Awesome. And she said, start with like once a week to start with once yeah. a week. So that's your job. Yeah. It just depends on how much you're, you're putting content out into your, onto your profile. So awesome. Okay. Uh, asking some questions. Yeah. Robin has had her hand up for a minute. Robin, what can we help you out with? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, I just had a comment. So I do game nights um, on Tuesday and Thursdays with my, um, on my lives. And so Every once in a while, we'll do like a trivia night and I'll have a list of questions that I'm going to ask them, but then I will turn it over to my customers um, and be like, um, Keisha, you get to do the next trivia question. And they love it because they get to come up with a trivia question and get involved. Um, so yeah, they they really like that so that would maybe be something you'd want to try awesome perfect we've got a couple yeah. more hands up really quick but let me let me answer this question jamie said oh let's see who was it um angela um yeah angela said how do you how do you do an engagement post an engagement post is just a question it's a this or that or what do you or um what's your favorite kind of haircut um, do you like short or long? That's a this or that, but it's just a question to ask them to get them to respond. Yeah. And you can do it just as a text. So like the color behind and just the text, or if you want to create a bigger hook, try and do something with like a picture that's going to have people to stop and read the description. So like, I know I've been using Kim's example with like the, the airplane, but like pointing at the, the, the seat and lifting it up on the aisle, like, you yeah. know, yeah. so it gets people to stop and see like, what is she even talking about with that? What does that even what is she even trying to show, right? And it's like, okay, hey. And remember, the more whites of your eyes, open your mouth. And so if I'm going to say, do you like, um, are you an Android or an iPhone? And I go, that's going to make people stop. And it's just a picture. So try and find something that's going to hook people. Yeah. And a, another thing to remember, like a, a high level thing that we want you to kind of think about and become this type of person is model the successful. OK, yeah. if you're seeing somebody that's super successful and they've got 50, 100,000 uh, uh, followers and they're doing really well with their content and they have a lot of content uh, uh, comments, see what they're doing and then reverse engineer what they did and then see how you can apply it to yourself. Hey, oh, they use this type of picture. They use this type of content. Oh, I, I, maybe I'll use the same question, but I'm going to do a different picture. Right. So model the successful. Go to people that are very successful and see what they're doing to see how you can improve your your content game, okay? Um, we have two more hands up, right? Um, Maria, is that correct? How, how do you pronounce your name, sweetheart? And turn your camera on so we can see ya. Portia. Portia? Portia. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Portia, do you have a question? How about let's go to, to uh, it's, it's Amy, Amy. Ah. It's not Amy. It's not Amy. She told me last night I talked to her. Shoot. Um, Amy, Amy, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, um, Marvel Frank. And good afternoon, son, everybody on the Zoom call and Facebook. Um, now for the, I'm trying to figure out what game, you know, to, to play for the, for the customers. But I don't want to play games that, you know, other people are playing. I'm trying to think of something different. So what's your, um, would you, what would you, for me to prefer for the games, for the customers? Are you saying for like a selling live? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Good question. So to me, some things, my mom, my mom does live. So she's, she's an expert at this. Something I would say is either you find something that you like, so it's fun and entertaining for you because it's exciting, but also you can ask your, Robin kind of said, get, got some engagement from your people to ask a question, ask them what types of games they like for ideas as well. Because 
then you're giving your customers what they want and then they're more likely to come back to you. So it's like, oh, hey, uh, what types of games are we playing? We've been playing Jeopardy for the last few weeks and I like Jeopardy, but what other games do you guys like? And that could be a, a, an engagement post on your selling page. That's a great idea. What type of, what type of uh, game, uh, games do you guys like to play on, on lives that you've seen? Oh, some people said World of Fortune. Some people said- We play Deal or No Deal. Deal or, deal, deal or No Deal, right? And then you're getting ideas from your customers and you're making your customers happy. You're yeah. giving them exactly what they want. Yeah. Kara? Oh, Is thank you. I appreciate it. Awesome. You're, you're welcome. Hi. I just wanted to say thank you for this challenge because it's been eye-opening for me. And my friends I have not talked to, some of them in a long time, was like, uh, what have you been up to? Where have you been? Because of all the different things we've been doing. So I just wanted to say thank you. You're so Thank welcome. Thank you. You're so welcome. So you've been we able to it. like reconnect with some of your old friends through this. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. 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 That's a win. That's a huge win. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, anybody else have anything? Um, uh, any other questions or comments or anything else they want to add in uh, until we get off here in the next, as we wrap things up before new releases, I'm going to check the, the Facebook comments over here. Um, I have a comment. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I I use Pinterest a ton and Google. And so and I just Google paparazzi games, paparazzi oh, online yeah. games, you know, pa paparazzi party games. I, there's tons of tons of ways you can put that in That's there. Awesome. That's excellent. That's a great That's idea. Excellent. Great idea. <laughs> Even like um Facebook Live games. I mean, I'm I'm sure yeah. like, we're not the only ones that do, you know, lives and games and stuff, you know? So then you can get ideas from everybody else that's doing lives and selling something on a live. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sydney just asked, can we do bingo? Now, let me, let me just tell you about games. You cannot require them to buy anything to play. We used to do bingo and said, if you buy four pieces, I'll give you a, a, a card. You cannot require that. You can say, everybody's welcome to play. Anybody that comes here, is what I do on mine is for the first five minutes of our live, they have to be there on time and they have to comment. I give them a word, comment deal, comment blue, comment anything. And then they, um, and then I have an assistant there that she's typing in their names in a will of names. And then, um, and then I will select a name. There's free on, on um, Google. You can download a thing that's called will of names. And you can just type names in, it will put it on it. You push it and it spins for you. And then you do their name and then they call out. Then this is what I do is I, they have a choice. They could choose a number behind me, number five. So a number, I have already set up several strings. And then number five is this necklace, this earring, this bracelet, this ring. Now, Susie Q that won number five gets that set free. They have to pay shipping but the pieces are free, but I sell those pieces as I'm going through and playing the game. So everybody can buy this earring, this bracelet, this necklace, whatever, but Susie Q has the option to keep it or pass one time. If she wants to keep it, it goes into her cart and she's charged I, our shipping, whatever it is for those four pieces. And then um, she can choose number three or she keeps it. And then I go to the next spinning wheel, give another name, and Mary gets to choose a number up there. And I show this Z necklace and this bracelet and this earring. And anyone can buy those, but, but Mary gets them for free. How do you do games a certain night? I do game every Friday at, at, well, it was 12 noon, but now we can't do noon. So it's 11 a.m. Mountain Time. I do it in the morning. And I get a lot of viewers. I get more viewers on my game day than I do other days. So as an idea, I mean, obviously, we don't want you guys to buy from us or whatever, but you can go check out. Uh, my mom goes live on Fridays for ideas. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Don't buy for me right. because it's not, you go buy for $275. <laughs> <laughs> At and least then, for ideas of how to, how to run the game. And then if, if there's like a lot of the stuff that you like and there's some things that you want to change, do it. But at least you're seeing someone doing it and you can kind of see an idea. But um, other than that, it's uh, 12 minutes. We got four minutes before. So we're going to wrap up. Thank we you guys so you. much for joining us. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Yep.
Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.